Hey everybody, it's Second Chance Adventures. Today's day number 223 after having gastric bypass surgery. So something I've noticed, I haven't really been wearing my rings for a long time. And because you know when you lose a lot of weight, um, things get smaller and it does include your hands and your fingers and even your feet, your toes. It's weird, but it does. Um, so here's one. I always wore it on my right hand where like the ring finger. So there's that one. It was my grandma's until she passed away. And then there's my wedding ring. It's called an appetite jewel stone, whatever you want to call it. It's really pretty. Um, but I stopped wearing it for a few months because I was just really, really afraid that I was going to wear it and I'm doing whatever I'm doing. And the next thing I know, it's gone. Like it would break my heart. Either one of them got lost, especially my wedding ring. Because I really like it. It's a really pretty color. My husband did an excellent job picking it out. Um, let's see, I put it on today because I just haven't worn it in so long, you know, and I miss doing whatever I'm doing and randomly feeling my finger and make sure it's still there. I don't know if anybody else does that or not. Um, I'm wanting to get it smaller, but I can't make it any smaller until I'm all the way down to my final weight, or at least really close to there. So according to my, you know goal I'm only about 80 pounds away from being completely done and you think oh my gosh that's so much but in just seven and a half months I lost 100 pounds now it's probably going to take more than seven and a half months to lose the rest of the 80 pounds because I have slowed down quite a bit but that's normal to be expected but I'm hopeful you know I have been spending the last couple weeks exercising at the gym doing nothing but weights it's been great I've been loving it um Obviously, there's not really much difference, but, you know, I'm just getting the engines back up, getting started, going to be working on muscle and trying to tone up and get rid of the bot, the belly area. Because, like, my face is fine, my arms, legs, back, chest, everything's fine. It's just down to the last part, the belly, the thing that everybody wants gone the most. Let's just be honest. And, of course, it has to be the very last thing that goes. You know, of course. But whatever. It's completely fine. So, if you're someone who goes to the gym a lot and does nothing but weights, you know, send me some tips. Let me know what's up. Um, I'm basically mostly trying to do stomach area, but at the same time, I'm still doing arms, legs, backs, you know. But I'm also wanting to work on things like better balance and stamina and doing better when it comes to bone health and joint health. You know, trying to help the spine mostly when it comes to bone. So, that's where I'm at right now. Um, so something I wanted to talk about today, and I've talked about this before and I want to bring it up again because it happened again. Uh, when you are really overweight, whether it's 10 pounds, 50 pounds, 100 pounds, you go through it. Heat rash is dangerous in the summertime. Let me tell you what. Um, but this summer, yes, I did, I did get heat rash, but it is nowhere as bad as it was compared to last summer. Last summer, it would get so bad that like the skin would rip wherever it was, you know, under the boob line, you know, where your belly button is, where it kind of folds, you know what I'm talking about, if you know, you know, uh, even farther down where like the lower fold is, or between your thighs, you know, even like on your butt cheeks almost, you know, wherever it might be, uh, compared to last summer, it is nowhere close, like it would tear and ooze and sting and burn like no other. But this year, it's just a rash and nothing's broken out and there's like no oozing. It's just irritated skin. And of course, it's red, but it's not like fire, you know. Just a little bit of stinging, but nothing's broken. There's no oozing, which is a good sign. It's a lot better than it was last year. And I'm pretty sure by next summer, I probably won't have that problem anymore. At least let's, let's cross our fingers. Let's hope not because, uh, yeah, it is terrible having to deal with heat rash. The fatter you are, the worse it is. But it's... Not as bad as it is compared to last year and the summers before. So, you know, it's progress. You know, and you can't have a lot of progress without still stumbling here and there. But you know what? That's okay. It's part of my road to success. Um, other than that, I've just been around here just uh, kind of getting ready for uh, vacation. I've mentioned it a few times. I'm going to Branson. If you see me down there, you see me. I'm going to go to the Titanic Museum one day. One day I'm going to go to Silver Dollar City. I think I'm going to go to the Wax Museum and just a few more places I might go mini golfing or something like that. Let's just see what happens. Um, I'm going to go to church on Sunday. Uh, one of the Nazarene churches there. Um, I go to a Nazarene church here. All my life I've always went to the Nazarene church that we have here. Um, it's going to be fun. It's going to be really nice. I haven't been to Branson since before puberty. I mean, it has been a hot minute. 
So I'm pretty sure a lot's changed, but uh, it'll be great. No, wait, I take that back. I went when I was like a very young teenager with my dad. That's right. I take that back wrong. Uh, but before that was like right before my parents got divorced, which was way, way, way long time ago. So anyways, um, I hope to see you guys there. If you see me there, say hey. Say hey, is that O'Malley Cat? Or hey, is that Second Chance Adventures from YouTube? Come up, take a picture. I mean, most YouTubers would be like, ew, I don't know who you are. Go away. But if you see me, I would love to take a picture with you. I will give you a hug if you want. Um, we can make a video if you want. We can ride some rides and take some pictures. I'm probably going to go... Uh, but that's okay. It's all about the fun, right? Now, obviously, I'm not going to be able to chow down with you guys, but I will hang out. You can chow all you want. You taste test it for me and see how it is. But, or if you see me in the Titanic Museum, I will do the Jack and Rose pose with you if you want. I'll do whatever you like. We can hang out. It would be great. Take a picture with me. That'd be cool. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. I'm about to do some more housework because I don't know about you guys, but I have this fear of just coming home to a really bad disaster. Every time I've ever gone away from home for more than a couple days, I always take the house down, scrub it, and put it all back. Throw a bunch of stuff away because I'm just, I, I don't know, it's like paranoia, I guess. Just really big OCD. Even though nobody's going to be here to make a mess, I just have this terrible fear I'm going to come back and like things are going to be spilled or there's going to be a stain somewhere and it just oh, blows my mind and makes me crazy. But anyways, I will see you guys later, and be safe. I won't be on PS4 for a few days, but I'll still be thinking about you. Bye!